been welcome on the one and only West Coast King, and welcome back to the Sounders career. Now, my voice is a little bit shot. I was at the Sounders playoff game against LA midweek, and all the screaming that was involved in that match, my voice is pretty much shot. On top of that, I'm also getting sick, so that's not helping the situation either, but we're going to battle through this thing. we got two episodes left in this season, and we got some big games coming up today. We're starting off with the game against Middlesbrough. We also have the semifinal of the FA Cup in this, in this episode as well. But first things first, we're going to go raise this difficulty. So here we go. I've been on world class for the majority of this season, with the exception of, I think, the first episode I was on professional, but then we bumped it up right after that. So we're going to make the jump now to legendary. I think I've only played two games on legendary so far in FIFA 16, and they didn't go all that well. So we're going to struggle, but I think we got a good enough team, at least for the rest of this season, to make it through okay. So let's test this thing out. Let's go play Middlesbrough. Here is a look at our starting 11 for this game against Middlesbrough. We just played Toronto three days ago, so it's kind of a mixed bag between reserves and starters. But we're at home. Hopefully, we can get this one done. Here we go. Kickoff against Middlesbrough. Middlesbrough is fourth place in the league right now, and we are the top two teams in the league defensively. We are just slightly better than they are. But hopefully, we can hold on and not give up any goals in this game. Oh, I didn't see Mansoray over here. Come on, Mansoray. See if we can't go back post for Nagel coming in on it. I don't know why he tried to slide. What was that? What? Where was there a free kick? Are you actually kidding me? I mean, I'm trying to look for a cross, but... Oh, he still has the ball. There you go, play it in. Get a shot off! Wow, what a shot! I think that was Andy Rose. The ball popped up and he hit it full on the volley and he almost... Wow. He hit that so hard. What quick feet from Rose, and what a reaction from that dude. There's the whistle for halftime. Not a whole lot of action in that first half. I would say that Legendary is more difficult, but it's easier to get the ball back for some reason off of them, but it's much more difficult getting the final ball into the box to score goals. That's the part I'm having the most trouble with. All right, a corner. Where is a guy? Here we go. Who is that running against? Lamar Nagel. Nagel. Turn, put a ball in. There's a man! Oh, who was that? It was Kirar. Why was he the one making the front post run off of that? That was unfortunate. There we go. Nice one-two play. Can we... Nope, but that's going to get through. To Brad, take the shot! Brad Evans puts it home! We've got the lead over Middlesbrough. A little bit lucky, a little bit fluky, but we're going to take it. I've seen a lot of goals on Legendary be just like that. You have to get just a little bit lucky every once in a while to get your goals. We got lucky there, and we've got the lead. I mean, it was good one-two play working the ball up the field. There was the lucky deflection, and another one, and Brad Evans on the turn, pops it past the keeper. Great finish from Brad Evans. We're doing a, we're doing a very good job defending in this game. Legendary, them attacking is not any different, I've, I've, I've seen. They're not as, if anything, they're worse attacking on Legendary than they were on, on, on World Class. They're actually terrible. We got an opportunity right here. Brad Evans, can he get to the ball? He does. Ball's up for Ayanacho. I don't think I won that. Oh, boy. Yedlin? Yedlin? Yedlin. Oh, crap. I didn't see that guy. Wait, I saw him. I didn't think... Oh, no. There's the equalizer. You make one mistake, and they will kill you. That is so... They don't deserve to be in this game at all. They have no right to be in this one, but I made one single mistake and the passing came so fast there's no way to recover there was no way to recover I Nacho wants it there you go lay it off nice move Brad Evans still Brad Evans oh Brad Brad very nearly came up with his second goal it was a beautiful play it deserved a goal it deserved a good finish it just was a little bit wide from Brad there's the final whistle that's so oh my god you have to play a perfect game for 90 minutes or you won't get a win. That is the most frustrating thing on Legendary. It's so unfortunate. I can't believe we didn't win that game. Sucks. Here are the match stats. Just to further what I was just saying, we had 10 shots, 6 on target, just the one goal, and we probably only deserved the one goal. But we played very, very well, far better than Middlesbrough. They apparently didn't have a shot, but they did. They had one. You saw it. That was the only shot they had and they put it in the back of the net. That's what Legendary is. 
They don't get a lot of opportunities, but they make the most out of every single one of their chances. And that's why I hate Legendary. I hate it. Alright, we're going to get right into the next game. We actually have two simulations coming up in a row. First one's going to be against Burnley. We're on the road for this one. But our first choice starting 11 is back in there and rested ready to go. We quick sim. We lose on the road. Guedes gets a goal, but that was not a good performance from us. We should have beaten Burnley. They were in 14th place. And the next game is going to be at home against Leeds. Again, the starting, a full strength starting 11 is in there. Except Marco Papa is now back from injury, and he is in there instead of Lamar Nagel. Hopefully we can get a win against Leeds. Leeds have been really slipping lately. We've already got a goal, and we win this one 3-0. Papa comes back, gets a goal. Guedes, a goal for his second straight game, and we win 3-1. Good performance from us. Better bounce back performance. All right, the next game up in this episode is going to be the semifinal of the FA Cup against Newcastle. Now, we've already won one trophy in this season. I didn't expect that. If we were to win two, that would be mad. But Newcastle's always giving me problems. And even if we do beat them somehow, it looks like Manchester United is going to be waiting for us in the final. So, I don't know if this is possible, but we're definitely going to give it our best shot. Here is the starting 11 we're going with. In this game, it's our first choice starting 11 as much as possible right now. Again, um, Gutierrez is still out with an injury. Other than that, I think we have our, all of our top players in there for this one. We're going to go for it in the FA Cup. I mean, we're at Wembley Stadium. You can't really trot out a reserve side there, can you? So here we go. Kickoff at Wembley Stadium in the semifinal of the FA Cup against Newcastle, a team I struggle mightily against in every FIFA. This should be pretty interesting. Oh, yeah. And we're on Legendary. There you go. Goretzka, great play. Can you get that ball off? To Oba. He is going to get there. Oba Femi Martins, can you put that home? There just wasn't an angle. There just was not an angle for that. It looks like they're going to give us the ball over the top to Oba every single time. They're playing a very high line, which is very dangerous. What a play. How did he deflect that pass? That was so perfect. It was going to be a goal or at least a very wide open shot. There we go. And another one, Mastor. Good move, Mastor. Can you get a shot off? He can, but it's right at Tim Krul. And he makes the save. We've had the better of the opportunities in this game. Just can't get that goal. There you go, Marco. Good move from Marco. Another good move from Marco. Marco opens it up on his left foot. He hit Oba Femi Martins in the back of the head. Oba, get out of the way, dude. Why was Oba in the way? Marco was just putting on a freaking clinic through the midfield and got a great opportunity. There's the whistle for halftime. We're definitely beating Newcastle. We're definitely getting the better of this game. We just cannot get that goal. Please get that ball off. He does. What? What? I chipped. I chipped it. Why, why did I chip it? I don't understand why I chipped it. It doesn't make sense. Keep going, my store. Oh, there's a guy wide open in the middle of the field. I couldn't get the ball to him, but Oba, he gets to the ball. Oba whiffed on the shot. Are you drunk? How did you just whiff on a shot, Oba? Oba Femi Martins, I don't know who's guard marking him, but he's quick. Inside, there's Blaine. Blaine over to... How in the hell did Tim Krul make that save? That is a load of bullshit. Oh, God, those diagonal balls get there. We're not going to... That's fucked. That's fucked. We should have like three goals in this fucking game. No way Newcastle gets that one fucking opportunity again from a bullshit pass. Those are like impossible to stop. Those crosses from out there are completely fucked. There's no way to guard those. Absolutely impossible. And now we're losing this game. Okay. Now I got Hachima's door sent off. Another frustration foul. I just slid through the back of the guy. I didn't think it was going to be a red card, but he turned away from me, like right there, and I slid. I, I didn't mean to do that one, honestly. I was frustrated, and I was trying to slide tackle it. I didn't mean to get Monster sent off. Now we're definitely going to lose. Oh my! That one hit the fucking crossbar! What the shit?! There's the final whistle. We lose this one completely undeserved. Completely. I think Newcastle, again, had one fucking shot. Maybe two with that one that went off the crossbar late out of nowhere. And they scored one goal. Again, we had like ten shots, six on target, got nothing from it. I fucking hate Legendary so much. 
So here are the match stats. I was a little bit off. We had eight shots, six on target, got nothing from it, including a great opportunity from my store that Tim Cruel somehow saved. They had five shots, three on target, and scored a goal. I, I, I don't know if Legendary is the way to go. I don't know if we can even stay up in the Premier League next season on Legendary. It's just, it, it's a load of bullshit. Legendary shouldn't be Legendary, it should just be a load of bullshit. Alright, that is going to do it for this one. I can feel my voice starting to go, and I don't think I can get through another game, so we're going to have to end it right here. We played two games on Legendary this time. We p outplayed both teams, including the BPL opponent in Newcastle, and we lost one and drew one. I, I just, I don't know if Legendary is the way to go. I, I really don't. It's, it's, I it just can't score goals on Legendary. I outplay the teams, but I can't score the fucking goals, which is so aggravating. You have no idea to completely dominate a team and not get a final product out of any of your shots. I, I don't know what the hell to do about that, but we'll have to keep playing next time and see if we can continue to get better on Legendary. Hopefully we can and score a couple of goals, but... That is going to do it for this one. If you had as much fun as I did, make sure to let me know and leave a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I will see you when we come back with some more Sounders career. See ya.